well. This looks like a nice spot for a video. forest when autumn is, is coming. Mm, the air is so fresh. This will be perfect. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel Emily's Outdoor Adventures. I know I promised you last time that I was going out into the rain and try my fire starters this time but the thing is it doesn't rain in Sweden apparently. Uh, not during the weekends anyway and I don't make videos during the weekdays because then I work and right now I have quite a lot to do at work because I'm a uh, teacher so you know September is a bit crazy here I am anyway out in the forest so I'm going to cook instead today yes because I got a lot of messages from you saying Emily Emily please can you make some more cooking videos and of course I can do that I'm going to make my uh, special kale soup grönkåls soppa Yes, with some spinach and uh, some potatoes. And then I'm also going to add some bacon to it. Most rocks here in Swedish, in Sweden are igneous or metamorphic. Uh, of course, you always have to look for cracks if you're going to have them close to the fire because, you know, they could explode, but it's very, very, very rare. Uh, if you use sedimentary rocks, they can explode, so I suggest you don't. But here we have most gnis och granit. Yeah, that's the most common ones here in Sweden. So, here I have my fire pit and some wood I have brought with me from home. And then you all wonder, what's this? Well, talking about recycle, this is oak and it's uh it's from a floor our you know leftovers from a floor and a friend of mine asked if i wanted this because it burned for a very long time uh, and it's very good to have if you're making a fire and i said yeah well of course because you know it's just plain oak so this is this is very good so i'll try that one and then we have the birch bark, of course it's quite funny now when i have started uh my or, you know, since I started my channel, so a lot of people come to me now with birch barks and, and woods and stuff. It's like, well, maybe you need this for your videos. So <laughs> that's very kind of them. I don't have so much room, though, to store it. But, uh, yeah, you know, finns det jätterum, finns det skärterum. Okay, let's uh, get this fire starting them. I wonder if I should use this. Nah, I'll do it this way. I'll use matches today because I can. Or because I already know how to with the fire steel. It just took me a couple of years.
So, uh, while the fire is burning, I'm going to start to peel the potatoes. Yeah, I think you all know what a potato is. And, uh, and a potato peeler. This is really good to have if you have very, very young children and you, don't, and you don't want to give them a knife and they might want to, you know, like sharpen a stick, they can use this because the chances that they cut themselves with a potato peeler is not very big and you can, can use it for that. Just a tip from someone who has been working with very young kids. So I'm going to cut the potatoes in very, very, very small pieces because it, then it goes faster to, to boil them. Of course, I'm not in a hurry, but I'm a little bit hungry and I get grumpy when I'm hungry, so better safe than sorry. Hoppily hop. I don't want to fly in my soup. Oh, some proteins there. Oops. Oh. I'm going to use a grilling rack, which is foldable. Uh, I never used anything like that before. You know, if you've seen my videos, I used to cook on, you know, on rocks or you know, stones. I've used tripods and in the beginning I had, or in my first videos, I used my keyhole shaped fire pit and so on. Uh, but this is something I felt that I really need uh, or been missing. So it will be quite interesting to see how this works. Because um, I never worked, uh, I never used it before. So, And as I said, it's foldable, so it doesn't take so much space in your rucksack either. This is the size of it and then you just more or less fold it out like that and I don't know how long the legs need to be for me but I will fold the entire thing out so you will have a chance to see oh wow it's getting pretty warm here Simple as that, but now I really need my gloves so I don't get burned. That was a lot better. Look at that! Flat! And I actually think the, the space here is very good too. It's not, uh, it's not so low, but of course if you want it lower you can just fold one of the legs up because it's or foldable if you want to have it higher or lower. But. Wow, look at that, that was so cute! So, in here I have frozen kale and um, spinach. You can buy them like this, or well, not the jar because that was, that was my own, but um, you can buy them frozen here in Sweden. Which is very good if you're going out on a hike or something and you... I don't want it to turn bad on the way. And here we have the potato and some bouillon, or I think you call it stock cubes, maybe. With chicken flavor, my favorite. Okay then. Some water. I don't want the potatoes. Okay. One went into the fire. That's just how it is. And then I can also add the this little thing. 
with chicken flavor. Oops! I will add this because since it's uh, frozen, it will, you know, lower the temperature and then it has to raise it again. Blah blah blah. I better put it in now. And here we have the bacon, which I'm going to slice or cut in smaller pieces here. Oh, oh, it's boiling now. And because I sliced the potato very thin, this doesn't have to boil for a very long time. So I can actually start to fry the bacon now. There's one in, Let's see when it gets warm. It's mushroom season here in Sweden. Ow. Oh, it's a huge one too. Look. And there we have something else. Okay, that looked a bit more icky. And oh, look here, we have something too. Wait, the sun is in the way. The thing is up. Mm. I just wanted to show you what a great weather we're having today clear blue skies and you know it's a bit windy but not so much where i am it smells wonderful from this okay now my bacon is getting hot too or the frying pan um this is such a lovely forest i love being outside and as i said i don't have so much time during the weekday since i'm a teacher and it's a lot going on right now so it's so nice to get out like this and just breathe and not think about anything else So here we have it, it's frying. <laughs> oh yeah, well here you can see what I'm going to put it in. Put the soup in. Yeah, Nick's made it, it's beautiful. Oh look, there I am, hello. That will be me, yes. Well, I think this is almost done. Uh, and I have this with me. I have absolutely no idea what you call it in English, but I will show it. And then you might tell me. We call it an uh, um, potato stört, I think. Mash the potatoes with I don't think I might need it for this soup because uh, the potato is so very, very small. But uh, at home, I use my uh, mixer stov. Or the blending thing you can put down and everything goes very smooth but um don't try this one it feels a bit you know more old-fashioned kind of thing Now I, I think uh, the soup is ready to eat, so I'm going to take it off and uh, use this uh, potato stirred, as we say in Swedish. Now let's see if this works. Yeah, the potato is very, very, very soft. As I said, I'm used to a blender or a mixer, so... I'm not 
much work and get it that smooth, but we'll see. Usually it's a bit thicker when I'm making it at home. And of course, if you want it more fatty or something, you can add cream. soup and then we can add some bacon without getting leaves in it. Maybe that's yummy too, I don't know. Well look at that. And this is for my camera guy. <laughs> oh look at this. Hey. Here you have. Thank you. <laughs> and now some soup for me too. Time to eat. Uh, it smells lovely. Mmm. It tastes lovely too. Well, this was very yummy. I will put the res uh, recipe in the video description if anyone wants to try this. I really like this uh, grilling rack. It's from a company called Bitty Big Q. And if you want more information about that company, you can look in the video description. You will find the link there. But as I said, I'm, I'm very pleased with it and uh, I like that it's foldable. It doesn't take so much space in my rucksack. So. Anyway, I'm going to eat now and enjoy the silence and then go home and have a nice Saturday. And have some blueberry pie. <laughs> anyway, please follow me on Instagram too if you want to. Emily .m Emily's Outdoor Adventures, one word or emily.life if you want to follow me more you know everyday life sort of pictures uh, anyway i hope i'll see you next time and i hope it will be raining then <laughs> take care bye bye